take a paper towel and you pat a joy. Give it a little spank, a little slap, you know? Yeah. Hello. David, hello, David, David. Deja vu. Hello. Deja vu much. Deja vu, why can't I say that? Okay, anyways, we did good food and now we are doing Hello Fresh. Boom, let's do it. Uh, it's like a grocery subscription service. You can choose to skip weeks. You don't have to stay with it all the time. Uh, yeah. So, I don't know how to, I don't know what more to say. I didn't actually look at HelloFresh, like, ever. <laughs> I've just heard of it. Um, and I was like, you know what? Let's do it. We're gonna do another video. And there's another one called Chef Plate. Uh, Chef's Plate. And if I can get that. We're gonna do like, this will be like a series. Let's open this child, it's quite big. Foop. Foop. I'm not fooping hard enough. Ugh. There we go, Pull. The contents of the box, so far, it's looking basically the exact same as good food. It's like a mini fridge inside, same as before. Oh, guess what, there is a difference. This one, for I think around the same price or the same kind of plan, it gives you four meals instead of three. That's so cool. Look at that. Of course, you've got your pamphlets and stuff. And Ooh, look, a little extra something for you. And you know what it probably is? It's probably coupon codes. Here's coupon codes. If you want a coupon for this place too, here you go. Here are my meals. Butternut squash pasta. Boom. Boom, boom. It's like healthy but unhealthy at the same time, and that's what I'm here for. Cool. Lemony mother freaking chicken and mushroom. Boom. How appetizing. I sound very sarcastic, but that, it looks great. It looks, it looks amazing. Okay. Creamy pesto pork rigatoni. I actually don't know how to say that. Rigatoni? That looks good. And we also have. Philly cheese, uh, Philly cheese steak style bowl, and it looks like that. Same thing as uh, HelloFresh, they have freezers, uh, I'm sorry, they have ice packs and the cold food. As you can see here, we're gonna open up a bag. Oh, all the nutrition stuff is in the back. That's how my garlic came. All our ingredients here. This is everything that came in the bag for this meal. One thing I like about this HelloFresh is um, they have the pictures there for all the ingredients. Good food only just says the word. So like, like, I don't know. It's something small, but I think it's pretty helpful, so. Little dash of salt. I'm gonna go slow. I don't wanna splash. So far, like, it's very similar to good food. Oh, I was supposed to boil the water first. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is why I have to follow instructions. Um, <laughs> I'm putting the water back in and then we're gonna boil that. While that's boiling, here's the part that takes me five million years, is doing all these steps with like cutting the vegetables and like all that stuff. So we're gonna do that in time lapse and go now. Mince the chalet. Whatever the chalet is. Actually, there we go. Peel it off. Do you know when you have like those crappy plastic pencils? You can't sharpen the pencils because the plastic starts to peel and then you just tear the whole thing off. That's what this reminds me of. It's very difficult to... <laughs> it sounds like someone's tearing ziplocs. Chefs? They must have meaty freaking forearms. Pun reference thing intended. Is it an arm workout? Or I'm just very bad at this. We love being a hoe for lemons. Yo, they are lying when they say this only takes a half an hour. It took me a half an hour probably just to cut up all these vegetables. This is hot water, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> Struggling to open the pine nuts. Oops. Is presentation key? Ooh, now it is. The true test 
the taste. Butternut squash stuffed pasta with toasted pine nuts and baby heirloom tomatoes. I actually didn't think I was gonna like it, but this is actually really good. I don't even like squash. I will admit that I wish there was kind of more sauce. Maybe there is, maybe I just need to mix it better, but I don't think so. Um, but flavor wise, holy crap. There's so many different flavors, the tomato, the lemon, parmesan cheese. Impressed, woohoo. Okay, so I have made several errors. Um, I put the bags, like the whole bags, in the deep freeze because I know that I wasn't able to make these meals consistently. Uh, and I did not know that vegetables got really squishy once they have been frozen and then thawed out. I'm just gonna substitute vegetables for some carrots and some other greens. Oh no, we can't forget that flavor. Oh no, we can't forget that flavor. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, okay. I usually don't like want them as toasted chips. I usually put a little bit of vinegar and lemon in this case, but sometimes I use like chicken broth. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Presentation is key, are you ready? So this is what we came out with. Boom. That's the best we could get for fanciness and looks wise. Okay, so now is for the taste test. I think it's actually gonna be a little bit spicy. I'm eating it with chopsticks. Don't judge me. Most of the greens, a bit of meat and a carrot. Three in one. There is spice. It is spicy. Okay. But not to the extent that I don't like it, and I usually hate spice, even if it's a little bit. The meat definitely tastes really good. The way that I did the kale, personally, I like it. Um, so I did do modifications to this, but generally I did the same, but it's really good. <laughs> That's all I can say, it's really good. Mm, it's good. So this is what we're making. Again, I might have to replace the baby spinach because this was in the freezer, so we'll have to see. But you know what I mean. Let's get it started. The contents. And look, oh my god, the garlic isn't actually demolished this time. I already took out the, uh, the pork because I can already tell that this is gonna be amazing because look, right off the bat, there's freaking basil involved, so that's gonna be good. Um, it's pasta, so yeah. <laughs> And just like usual, because presentation is key. I can't, I can't spin a spoon on my paper. Sonia's judging. Anyways! Eyebrows on fleek. Oh. Oh, nice. damn, I have a nice leg. Shoot. Oh. <laughs> so the battery is low, so I'm gonna put you down, but it's gonna start violently shaking. Just letting you know. See? <laughs> it's getting bad. Oh my goodness. Jeez Louise. Okay. So that's the food. You're probably not getting a good view of it, but that's the food. We're gonna try it and. It's nice. I haven't tried the like chili flakes yet, but as long as they're not spicy, I will be fine. Um, chili flakes are spicy. Oh, no. The noodles and the sauce, it tastes really good. You can really taste the pesto. Actually, you can taste the spinach this time. Oh. I haven't tried the pork, but other than that, it's, it's good. It's good, so just trust me on that. Sorry the camera angles are so bad, but yeah. Okay, bye.
Woohoo, we've got our ingredients and the ones that I've messed up in the freezer and had to go rebuy. The one they packaged aren't cut, so yeah, that saves me some time. And ho for lemons. All right, let's start. Go take a paper towel, a pat of joy, give it a little spank, a little slap, you know? Is it a Newfie or an Irish or a Scottish accent? I, I don't know and I'm so sorry if I'm offending anyone. Oh, it looks like skin. Calm the foot down. She sizzling. And she sizzling hard. Then look at those some yummy looking things. Oh, yeah. Now I gotta mix all this soup together, but I'm gonna put some some of this aside for uh, for our presentation is key moment. We're gonna have to use some of that. This is supposed to be like salad. I can't even use the kale. The greens that I had also went bad. So maybe I can still use green. it. It's still green. Yeah. That's fine. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna risk it. Ah! Do you see that? That's some raw chip. I hate how irritating I am in this video. <laughs> so we got chicken almost done. We got mushrooms done. We got kale, not done, but it won't ever be done because it's been frozen and it's weird texture. Then we've got weird mayonnaise mixture thing that's supposed to be like a sauce and now it's like a soup because of the freezer. It is now finally cooked and then, you know, presentation is key. Let's go. gonna try it so um let's try a mushroom first because there's the lemon pepper seasoning um and oil and actually that's it it's just toasted so a hole for lemons a hole for lemons i can't deal with this stand what is it doing it's supposed to be a self-stabilizing one but like it's shaking now but yeah anyways Let's try a bite of chicken, oh, and kale at the same time. Oh my god, this is by far the best tasting one. Out of all the meals so far, this is the my favorite for taste. The last thing we have to try is the mayo slash butter looking bread. <laughs> Alright, we got the bread soaked in the mayonnaise that basically is butter because of texture. Too much hoe, too much hoe. That is strong, cause I used, I used a whole lemon, of lemon juice in that, holy crap. Whether it's self-sabotage or what, I enjoyed it actually, I want more. <laughs> That's like a journey in one bite. But it tastes good, it's a good journey. That was the last meal. It was the best tasting one. I ruined this box for myself because of the freezer stuff. But other than that, HelloFresh and Good Food are very similar. If you like what you saw, like, subscribe. On my Instagram, the same name, I'm more active. I'm on there like every day. So I hope you enjoyed watching and don't forget to share with your friends, your family, and your neighborhood squirrels. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. You want to know how smart I am? Um, I was cutting that onion and my eyes are like kind of stinging. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep cutting and I closed my eyes. I didn't hurt myself, but that was not a smart thing to do But we're here and we're fine